And presumably it means because of the lack of material evidence that there will never be any closer way of get uh, any way of getting closer to to the Huns than your book does. It's very difficult to think of what, as it were, could be discovered. There will be no Hun time team in which the locked box, which contains the secret history of the Huns, is discovered. That seems to be very unlikely. There will, of course, be more archaeological discoveries in Eastern Europe, and these may give us a better idea of where in the Central Asian steppes the Huns came from. I think that the idea that they're originally Mongolian or Chinese, the forerunners of Genghis Khan, is now thought to be a fairly thin idea. But where in the great vastness of the Central Asian steppes we might locate them and how we think of their progress towards Europe and the reasons for that, I think it's reasonable to think that more archaeology might mean that we can offer better answers to those questions. But I don't think that there's going to be some dramatic find that radically alters the view that I've expressed about the Huns' interaction with the Romans in the 4th and 5th centuries. I think that's a done deal, and I think we have to write about the Huns recognising that we do so without a Hun voice to help us. Did your own feelings about Attila as a man, insofar as he is knowable at all, did they alter as a result of researching this book? I guess in some ways that I set out rather like Prisca's of Panium when he crossed the Danube. I suppose that I thought that I might find in Attila a violent and a brutal barbarian. That seemed to be the tenor of most accounts, ancient and modern. And I hope that I and the book shares something of Priscus's genuine surprise in discovering a different kind of Attila and something of Priscus's intellectual excitement in being able to write a different story and a more complex story about the engagement of the Huns with the decline and fall of the empire. I was talking to Christopher Kelly about Attila the Hun, which is out now in paperback. You can find out more about his book and several million others by going to blackwell.co.uk. Thank you for listening to this special classics podcast from Blackwells, and until next time, goodbye.